We all know crime and murder are horrible things, and criminals should be forced to spend years in jail. However, the story of Mark Chopper Reed, the infamous anti-hero of Australia, is a little bit different. He was a convicted criminal, a self-confessed murderer, a celebrity, and an author. It's nearly impossible to see these combinations together, but the famous Mark Reed managed to pull it off. It's not easy to determine if he was a good or a bad guy, but we know for sure that he had a very eccentric life. Reed was born in 1954 in Melbourne. Unable to take care of him, his family sent him to live in a children's home for the first five years of his life. When he returned back to his family, he was not very welcome. His father repeatedly beat young Reed, and he was bullied in school. When Reed was 14, he was given to the state and institutionalized in various mental facilities. He claims he underwent electroshock therapy there, which is what actually messed him up. A few years later, Reed entered the world of crime. He became a member of the Surrey Road Gang and kidnapped and tortured criminals for money. By the age of 20, Reed became convicted of armed robbery, firearm offenses, assault, arson, kidnapping and more. This meant that Reed was going to spend most of his life in prison. In fact, between the age of 20 and 38, Reed only spent 13 months outside of prison. Whenever he was released, he would be brought back again for a new crime. Even in prison, Reed could not leave his gang life behind. In the late 70s, he launched a prison war in Pentridge Prison's age division. Reed asked a fellow inmate to chop both of his ears off so that he could be transferred to the mental health wing. He first claimed that he did it to avoid ambush by the other inmates, but later, said that he did it to win a bet. Either way, it was around this time that he was given the nickname, Chopper. His fight with the inmates did not end there. One day, other prisoners, including Reed's own friend, stabbed him and causing him to lose several feet of intestines. In 1992, while Reed was finally out of the prison, he was convicted of attempting to shoot a biker, or Sidney Collins, in the chest. While Collins was not harmed, he named Reed as the shooter, and Reed was found guilty of intending to cause bodily harm and sentenced to indefinite detention as a dangerous criminal. Reed was not happy with his punishment and attempted to appeal the sentence several times. In 1997, he succeeded in overturning the sentence and regained his freedom a year later. Reed managed to avoid prison until the rest of his life and pursued a different career. He used his infamy to appear on several shows and he even participated in commercials against drunk driving and domestic violence. He also wrote crime novels and even children's books, selling more than 500,000 copies of his works. While he claimed to have killed 19 people, he later confessed in one of his interviews that he probably just killed four. In prison, he had contracted hepatitis C, and while the doctors advised him to get a liver transplant, he declined the offer, claiming that he was already an old man and that it wasn't fair for him to steal another kid's chance of living. In 2013, Reed died due to liver cancer, and a public funeral was held for him with 70 of his loved ones and fans. While Reed left a controversial legacy behind, his name stayed alive after his death, and several movies and TV shows have been made to remember his strange life.